Welcome to EPG Patshala. My name is Dr. Asha Patil from SNDT Women's University, Mumbai. Today we are going to see second part of type of material used for teaching adults. In part 1, we have seen how the primers are used for teaching learning adults. In this module, we are going to learn about other print materials used in literacy classes. That is why the learning objectives are the learners describes the various types of print material used for teaching adult, identifies characteristics of print materials used for imparting adult literacy, explains formats of adult literacy teaching learning material, describes the quality and relevance of curriculum for adult literacy, compares various forms of print material used in literacy classes distinguishes the learning outcomes after using various forms of print material, evaluates the impact of print material on the development of learners, folk dialect primers. Let us see how folk dialect primers are used for teaching learning purpose. India is a multilingual and multicultural country. In addition to the state language, many local dialects are used for communication. It is a challenge for state resource centers to prepare teaching learning material in local dialects as many of these dialects do not have script. For example, Konkani language which is spoken in Konkan region of Maharashtra state which does not have script. Tulu language spoken in some parts of Karnataka state which does not have script, hence they use Kannada script. Many state resource centers have tried to prepare primers in local dialects. It is very difficult to get writers to write in local dialect. For example, Chhattisgarh state, it has a large number of tribal population who has their own language which is different than the state language that is Hindi. State resource center Raipur, Chhattisgarh has prepared primers in six dialects as per the needs of local people. These dialects include Chhattisgari, Kurugu, Gondi, Balbi, Sarguja and Sadri. State resource center Assam has prepared primers in four dialects namely Bodo, Sadri, Raba and Karbi. State Resource Center Meghalaya prepares primers for its own state as well as for two other states namely Manipur and Nagaland. It has been observed that adult learners prefer to learn in their mother tongue. Hence, the primers prepared in local dialects reflect local culture, practices and day to day life of the people. This helps to sustain the interest of learners. For teaching adult learners, local volunteer teachers are selected. They are trained by state resource centers. Let us see the different primers prepared in local dialects. Graphics. Teaching methodology remains the same that is first discussed that is starting on discussion on pictures followed by reading the lessons loudly, analyzing the sentence, words, consonants and vowels and formation of new words and sentences. Here are a few pictures of local dialect primers prepared by State Resource Center of Chhattisgarh. Graphics. Let us see the local dialect primer prepared by Raipur, Chhattisgarh. Primers are also prepared in Braille language. Most of the state resource centers have prepared basic primer in Braille language as well. This has helped the visually challenged people to be become literate. This is a Braille Lippy primer prepared by state resource center Indore and one another braille primer I am going to show you. This primer 
in braille lippi is prepared by state resource center pune maharashtra now let us see the bridge primer bridge primer is for neo literates who have completed the basic literacy phase it serves the purpose of consolidation remediation continuation and application of literacy skills achieved by neo literates it acts as a bridge between basic literacy and continuing education lessons in bridge primer mainly focus on day to day life issues their interest and needs the lessons cover topics such as domestic violence superstitions environment immunization cleanliness water conservation and so on it is expected that the neo literates will read the bridge primer individually and independently or in a group wherever necessary the teacher helps them sometimes the teacher also conducts the discussion on lessons the bridge primer on an average contains 12 lessons and 3 tests after completion of 4 lessons one test is included now let us see the bridge primer prepared by various state resource centers this primer is a bridge primer the name is nai kiran prepared by state resource center lucknow this is another bridge primer prepared by state resource center jaipur the name of this bridge primer is agla kadam this primer is a bridge primer prepared by state resource center raipur chatisgarh let us see the primers prepared for skill development adult education centers which are also known as lok shiksha kendras are established at the grassroots level almost in each village of india at these centers the teaching learning activities are conducted in addition to literacy need by skill development programs are also organized at the center some of the srcs have developed vocational skill development primer for skill development purpose for example the primer on skill development course that is jewelry designing or maybe cutting and tailoring beautician etc srcs who have produced skill development primers include state resource center dipayatan patna state resource center indo state resource center uttarakhand and state resource center jamia millia islamia from delhi let us see one primer prepared for jewelry designing this is a skill development primer prepared by state resource center pune this material is for artificially artificial jewelry making now we are going to see the different types of supplementary materials prepared by various organizations including state resource center state resource centers shoulder the responsibility of production of material it involves the experts from various fields to finalize the content of the book they involve practitioners specialists from appropriate central agencies and voluntary bodies and selected decision makers in the process of preparing reading materials the neo literates themselves also participate in the development of reading materials to sustain the literacy of neo literates supplementary material is very essential this promotes independent self reading amongst neo literates the learners can learn to read on their own thus breaks the ties of dependency inculcation of reading habit in neo literates is very essential for their personal development hence all adult education centers have well equipped reading room and library facilities the rural environment is predominantly a non literacy environment it is extremely difficult to develop or sustain literacy in an environment where one can travel for miles without encountering any written symbol hence it is a challenge for the prerak 
or to the teachers who run adult education centers to maintain a pleasant learning environment and an ambience for reading in the rural area. Thus, by creating a conducive environment for reading increases the demand for literacy skills and enhances their motivation. This is done by providing them with thought-provoking reading materials. Varieties and forms are used for preparation of reading material for the neoliterates. They include love stories, mythological stories, dialogue formats such as Vikram and Vetal, Raja and Pradhan, etc. Literacy material is needed after completion of the primer to strengthen and enhance the acquired literacy skills. It is prepared in graded manner. There are various forms of supplementary material. For example, content sheets, flashcards, story books, etc. Graded books help the learners reach the level of functional literacy. The details are given here about the content sheets. Let us see how the content sheet is used. It is a brief learning material written in simple and understandable language. The material is related to any problem of a particular area or subject or a need of that locality. It is used as a supplementary learning material. The content sheet provides the latest scientific knowledge of the subject concern. The content sheets are useful to participants because they help in enhancing their piece of reading. They also improve their present knowledge and enhance their knowledge in comparatively shorter period. It also enhances their desire to learn. It promotes the feeling of learn and rise. These content sheets are useful for the instructors also because they enhance the clarity of the concerned subject. It strengthens their present knowledge. It also updates their knowledge and saves time for preparation. It helps in making the teaching work desirable. The teacher can also use the content sheet while teaching the primer. The learners will be able to use the content sheets only after completion of the primer that is after completion of basic literacy. Charts. Let us see how charts are used for teaching adult learners. The charts are based on the lessons in the primer. They help the volunteer teacher in teaching adult learners. Instead of using the whole primer, the teacher prepares separate charts for each lesson and uses it for teaching purpose. Charts give information on healthy diet, health issues, etc. They can be prepared by the prayer or maybe with the help of learners as well. The next printing material is workbook. This helps in making the learners practice reading, writing and arithmetic. New literate literature. This is a specially prepared for those who have already completed basic literacy. Neoliterate books are important tool <coughs> to sustain literacy skills. This also helps to inculcate the reading habit amongst neoliterate adult learners. The language used in neoliterate books is very very simple. It provides scope for the application of literacy skills acquired during basic literacy program. The content presented in it is very very interesting manner. The topics selected for neoliterate literature are related to their day to day life. These books have illustrations as well. Size of the font is bigger as compared to children books and other literature. These are more informative and knowledgeable to the learners. Neoliterate books are based on different issues like health, education, women empowerment, scientific temper, awareness against superstition beliefs, etc. 
The graded material is prepared for neoliterates which do not have any form because neoliterates are not a homogeneous group. They have different experiences and exposure to the world. Their basic literacy skills achieved also vary. Some of them would be even at the level 1 or maybe at the level 2. A significant segment of the neoliterates are very young and in the middle age group. Hence, caution has taken while preparing the material. The principles of known to unknown, simple to difficult, concrete to abstract have been used while producing all the material. This is because if the neoliterates suddenly get exposed to difficult material, they may get discouraged and may lose interest in reading. Hence, graded material helps them to move from lower to upper level of information, knowledge, skill and language very smoothly and gradually without expecting much help from others. While grading material, other aspects such as illustrations, layout, type size, etc. are also taken care of. Efforts are taken to prepare a variety of material to serve all types of people. The next printed material used in literacy class is song book. All of you know that at any stage of life everybody likes songs. Preparation and maintenance of a conducive environment in the literacy centers is very essential to sustain the motivation of adult learners. As adults are experienced and working persons, they do not like mere literacy. Teaching mere alphabets becomes boring for them. To make learning interesting and happy, the teachers make use of songs. At the beginning of the class or maybe at the end of the class, the teacher and learner sing songs together. Depending on the local conditions and culture of the people, teacher uses folk songs, patriotic songs, motivational songs. By conducting the singing activity in the class, it gives a chance to explore the hidden talents of the learners. This helps to boost their confidence. After singing the song, the teacher conducts discussion. By using the words from the song, the teacher can teach the learners various consonants, vowels and new words. If teacher is well trained and creative, this method of teaching works very well. Many SRCs have compiled songs and have prepared a booklet of songs. The next printed material used is slogan book. Slogans play a very very important role in environment building. They are used at the initial phase of starting the literacy program in the village, also in between. One can use them throughout the program to sustain the motivation of adults. Slogans are used during rallies as well. They are written on the walls of adult education center, on the roads and prominent places in the village as well. By using slogan, the teacher can teach the adult learners. Let us see one example how slogans are used for teaching adult learners. I am going to take one example of one slogan that is Mulgi Zali Pragati Zali. That means a birth of a girl child is a way towards development. On this slogan, the teacher facilitates a discussion. She discusses on various issues such as sex ratio, female infanticide, PCPNDT Act, girls performing in various sectors, women's equality, women's human rights, child rights that is right to live and so on. For environment creation, slogan can be written on walls, common places, in village, writing on placards, also used for rallies. This is a booklet 
prepared by State Resource Center Pune which contains various slogans. In addition to this booklet, the State Resource Center has also prepared slogans in a strip form. Now let us see the next form of print material that is newsletters. Most of the state resource centers are producing newsletter. It may be monthly, quarterly or biannually. Newsletters are informative. They contain the information on literacy activities happening in the various districts of the state. Sometimes information about national level activities is also included. For example, coverage about celebration of International Literacy Day 8 September. Names of state, district, gram, panchayats and state resource centers who won the literacy award and so on. The main feature of the newsletter is that neoliterates can also write in this. Due publicity is given for the poems, letters written by neoliterates. Teachers reads out the newsletter in the literacy class and facilitates discussion. Here are some examples, some samples of newsletters prepared by various organizations. Nayi Bharat is prepared by Raipur, Chhattisgarh, Samwadini, Samvadini, this is a newsletter prepared by State Resource Center Pune. Akshar Ki Cha, this newsletter is prepared by State Resource Center Indore, Madhya Pradesh. Now let us see the next format, print format that is brochures. Brochure is a small booklet used as a reading material in literacy classes. It contains illustrations and short information on a particular subject or a issue. Literacy teachers, prayers, coordinators and trainers use it for dissemination of information. Language used in brochure is usually simple. Size and shape of the brochure varies from place to place. Usually it is twofold. Brochures giving information on voting rights, getting a hot card, immunization, various government schemes are used by the prayers and voluntary teachers while teaching adult learners. For creating awareness amongst adult learners, the teachers use brochures prepared by various government and non-governmental organizations. In literacy classes, the brochures help to make the classes more interactive and interesting. After discussions, the teacher also helps the learners to get benefit of various government schemes. During parliamentary and assembly elections in India, the literacy teachers have helped the learners to register their names in voters list. The outcome of this activity was thousands of learners could get their voting cards. They could exert their right for hope. In a way, brochures help to achieve the goal of functionality. Here I am going to show a few specimens of the brochures used in literacy class. These brochures are prepared by State Resource Center, Indore, Madhya Pradesh. This brochure gives information on free legal aid. This brochure gives information on domestic <coughs> violence and this information gives information about sex detection test and how it is illegal. Now let us see the next printed material used in literacy class that is flip chart. Flip chart is an effective teaching learning material. 
it has content along with attractive illustrations. Information given in it is easy to understand to the learners. It is also used in training. Flip charts are available on different issues. It helps the learners to enhance their knowledge. Many a times the information given in the flip chart is helpful to the learners to solve their problems. Here are some examples of flip charts we are, which are used in literacy classes. I am going to show only one flip chart here. This is this flip chart gives information about what care should be taken during pregnancy. This is prepared by Sakshartha Niketan Prakashan Uttar Pradesh. Another material which is used in literacy classes is booklet on success stories. Under Swachh Bharat scheme of government of India, appeal is made to use toilets. Subsidy is also given to certain economically backward communities to construct toilets at the home. Many villagers are inspired with this scheme and have constructed toilets. The State Resource Center Indore has published a story book which contains success stories of villages which have become open defecation free. Such stories become inspiration for others. Material prepared for interpersonal media campaign. Under the guidance of National Literacy Mission Authority, state resource centers have developed material for interpersonal media campaign. The idea behind this was to create awareness amongst adult learners in particular and amongst community people in general. The topics covered in this include electoral literacy, legal literacy, disaster management and civil defense and financial literacy. A variety of material was developed on the above topics. It consists of booklets for new literates, resource book for training of prayers, activity book having games and other activities, stickers, posters, flashcards, flip books, etc. Electronic material like radio spots, jingles, slogans and SMS texts were also produced. The material is produced in almost all regional languages. Let us see the details about electoral literacy. A book was prepared on electoral literacy. It includes content on various subtopics related to democracy, elections, and election commission, voter, voters rights, registration of voters and process of voting by electronic voting machine, voters rights and grievance redress mechanism. The main objective of this book was to create awareness amongst community people about election system and their rights. This material was in various formats and disseminated to all adult education centers. The material included slogans, posters, stickers containing slogans, brochures, booklets, resource book, activity book for prayers, and so on. Prayers and voluntary teachers prepared dummy model of electronic voting machine and taught the learners how to vote. They also helped learners and common people to register their names in voters list and explain their rights. On the voting day, some of the volunteer teachers and prayers made it sure that maximum number of people can vote. This is the functionality component of literacy classes. The next material is on legal literacy. State resource centers have prepared brochures and booklets which explain various laws in very simple language. It covers information on various laws such as Domestic Violence Act 2005, Prevention of Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace, Sex Determination Test, 
prohibition of dowry to atrocity act, free legal set and so on. This information has created lot of awareness amongst adult learner and even community people. Many women are coming forward and sharing their problems. Some of them even have registered complaints against violence. This is actually the functionality component which is really serving the purpose. Here I am going to show a few material prepared by State Resource Center. This booklet gives information on right to education. This is giving information about violence and how to stop the violence. This booklet explains various government schemes, central government scheme as well as state government schemes for the welfare of the people. Now let us see financial literacy. Like legal literacy and electoral literacy, state resource centers have prepared booklets and posters on financial literacy as well. It includes information on savings and its importance, insurance, types of transactions done through banks, loans, etc. Many of women have joined self-help groups and have started saving. Here are a few booklets which are prepared by state resource centers. This booklet is on insurance. It gives detailed in information about insurance and its good effects and its benefits. This is a booklet gives information about loans. This booklet gives information about saving and its advantages where to save, how to save, all the information is given in this booklet. And this booklet gives detailed information about financial literacy and various schemes. Such posters are prepared to create awareness about financial literacy. Like other, SRCs have also prepared material on disaster management. How to face flood situations, reasons for flood and preparatory work to be done to overcome these issues, cyclone and its reasons, emergency care, draft and its reasons and how to face it, all such issues are covered in this section. Such material helps to conduct discussions in literacy classes. I am going to show a few books on disaster management. This booklet gives information about the flood and what precaution one can take to help oneself as well as to others. This is another booklet which gives clear information about cyclone, what care one should, one should take and how to help others before and after the cyclone. This is a booklet which gives detailed information about the reason for draft, how one can overcome and face the situation without committing suicides. So it's a very informative booklet which helps to conduct discussions in the literacy classes. To conclude, I would like to say a variety of print material is used in literacy classes. They help in sustaining the interest of the adult learners. Adults do not have any interest in learning only literacy. Hence, it is necessary to use supplementary material in addition to primers. Thank you.